So this video is a genuine question to flat earthers in relation to the motion of the sun. And it's directed at those flat earthers who believe the earth looks like the AE style map with the sun and the moon doing circles well above. And in fact, that looks like thousands of miles above the surface of the earth. And what the question relates to is how you can explain the sun disappearing. Now I've seen your demonstrations where you take a coin, that's a 20 cent coin in Australia with a platypus on the front, and you drag it across the table, and with the camera right on the edge of the table, you're showing us half of that coin disappearing. All right, there's a $1 coin, and that's got a series of kangaroos on the front. And again, the flat earth demonstration is to drag a coin across a table. Now the big question is, if we're going to use that to represent our sun, the sun's not touching the ground, is it? Your very own model shows the sun as being thousands of miles above the earth. And similarly, on flat earth channels, there are plenty of videos showing people walking across surfaces with their feet disappearing. Their feet are touching the ground, okay? The flat earth sun is supposedly thousands of miles up in the sky. So rather than showing us the feet disappearing, you need to be showing us the head disappearing. How far away does this person have to walk for his head to disappear? And in fact, a much better demonstration would be to take this ball and instead of dragging it across a table, hold it above your head as high as you can and walk away and show us how far that ball has to be away from us over a flat surface before it disappears. And here's the catch. It cannot reduce in size because real observations of the sun as it moves across the sky proves that it does not change in size. Even when it sets, it is not changing in size. So that's what you need to demonstrate, guys. No point showing us a coin being dragged across a table because the sun is not touching the ground. No point showing us videos where people's feet disappear because, again, your sun is not touching the ground. Make his head disappear. Hold that ball, that little ping pong ball, as high as you can above your head and make it disappear without changing size. So apparently there are some flat earthers now saying that the sun is a projection. Well here's a magnifying glass. And here's a piece of paper. And the reason I have drawn black lines on the paper is because black reflects less of the light and therefore the paper heats up easier. You can see just within a few seconds, using the power from the sun, that paper is now a light. Try that with a projected light source.